John Falstaff here. You know, after a fun and funny evening of wooing and pursuing these merry wives across the Orlando Shakespeare Theater stage, a guy can get a big man's thirst. That's why I reach for Falstaff beer. Falstaff beer hath a twofold operation in it. It ascends me into the brain, dries me there all the foolish, dull and cruddy vapors which environ it, makes it apprehensive, fortunate, quick, full of nimble, fiery, and delectable shapes, which, given over to the voice, the tongue, which is the birth, becomes excellent wit. And as for me, I'm not only witty in myself, but the cause that wit is in other men. <laughs> and the second property of your excellent beer is the warming of the blood. <laughs> Which before, cold and settled, left the liver, uh, the liver, <laughs> the liver white and pale. Which is the badge of pusillanimity and cowardice. But the beer warms the blood. <laughs> Makes it coarse from the inwards to the parts extreme. It illumineth the face. Which, as a beacon, gives warning to the rest of this little kingdom, man, to arm! And then the vital commoners and the inland petty spirits all muster me to their captain. The heart, who great and puffed up with this retinue of any deed of courage, and this valor comes of beer. If I had a thousand sons, the very first humane principle I should teach them would be to forswear thin potations and avail themselves of a smooth, refreshing Falstaff beer. And don't forget to see The Merry Wives of Windsor, now playing through March 7th. Bardolph, two more! And then for me! <laughs>